Yeah. And y'all lose one game. Y'all uh, lost four in a row. How would you describe it? Uh, honestly, I just kind of smirked and laughed after this one. This was one that was totally horrible. We relaxed. We were, you know, thought the game was over. They kept fighting. Uh, so it's, it's kind of outside of anger now. You kind of pass that question. The question was more of just, just taking care of business. All the excuses, all the stuff that goes on after that doesn't matter. Just, just take care of business. How do you fix all this stuff? We're doing things we've always done. Uh, you know, there's no other way to get out of it. You know, it, it don't get no easier. And we got tough games coming up now. Uh, all winnable games, but all going to be really tough, uh, hard part games. So uh, we just got to keep our minds on the ultimate goal, uh, knowing it's going to be a process, it's going to take time. But, you know, it's getting past halfway through the season now, so it's time. You mentioned halfway through the season. Is it time to be concerned or worried? Or whatever word you think it might be? Uh, you should always be concerned or worried. I think just being uh, having that edge, the element of fear should always – push you, you know, knowing that you can lose every single game, knowing that you can go from a four game to a game or whatever, and like that, that element is what pushes you to make you work harder and to try to get better. You know, we, we know we have a really good team. We know we're one of the best teams in the league, regardless of this industry. Uh, we know what we have, so it's just putting it all together. What has kept you from getting as many books as you were the first 25 games of the game? Um, I'm not sure. Teams doubling. It's been, it's been a different kind of season, you know, uh, that, that's kind of really the stuff I can't worry about. When I start worrying about that, then I stop doing my job. Uh, and that's everything else. You know, shots are come and go, uh, making them come and go. But this thing that has to continue to happen is me doing all the little things that don't show up on the stat sheet. And that's the stuff that I focus on, not so much about how many shots are going to be. It's getting better. Uh, something that's going to take time. The doctor says it's going to take a while. Uh, but, you know, I'm fighting through. Uh, I mean, most people probably would be sitting out and taking rest, but uh, I'm just not built like this, so I'll fight through. How much pain are you dealing with as you play? It's tough. It's hard. It's really hard. We got nerve damage. It's really tough. Uh, but like I said, it's something that I don't complain about. I just play. Uh, and that's it. Like, there's nothing else to talk about. We're struggling. I got to fight through. Is that the kind of thing you have to have surgically worked on after the season? No, no. It's just me rest. Mm -hmm. So, um, James came out here after the game, was shooting on the court after the game was over. Mm -hmm. what, what does that tell you about him? Uh, James works. He always has. Uh, he works on his game more than anybody I've ever seen. Uh, you know, he deserves all the credit he gets, uh, all the things that he, really, that he does. But even when he's struggling, he still puts that work in. So, you know, it's a difference why he's on another level. DJ, how can a player lose a streak like this team? Adversity, you know, dealing with adversity early, you know, uh, you get on losing streaks, everybody's looking at all the negative things. Uh, in the last two games, we played great for two, three quarters, uh, and just had one quarter really be the downfall of the game. So it's something that we can try to help look forward to, putting the whole game, a complete game together, and then start to string some games together.